Do you think that if AMD can take the performance and thermal crown with the next gen GPUs, they'll actually still be able to outsell Nvidia's cards and become the go-to for at least the generation? I feel people just buy what they know. So definitely a hard no on that one. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, the reason's market share, mind share, all yep. those share things. So for, for AMD to really take over it is a, it's a slow process but they need they need to be really the performance leaders the 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 outright better option for multiple generations or at least there has to be not even the better option maybe that's not the right way of putting it like a rise in situation where it's the better value the better, the better investment buy. the better, better buy. buy yeah they need to be the better buy at least in the mid-range like the mainstream the bulk of the market they need to be the better buy for multiple generations. I think it goes a bit beyond that because I think what you're saying is true for CPUs for sure. And we saw that with Ryzen as the example of where that worked. Mm -hmm. But I think with CPUs, the the people buying super high in. tier products like Core i9s mm -hmm. and Ryzen 9 processors is pretty limited. Mm -hmm. Like most gamers, even if you buy a super flagship GPU, are perfectly fine with mid-tier CPUs. And by mid-tier, I mean Ryzen 5 and 7, mm -hmm. Core i5, Core i7. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think with GPUs, AMD needs to not only do what you're saying, but also have the outright performance leader because I think that drives a lot of mind share. And NVIDIA's yeah. had a lot of wins by being able to say, we have the fastest gaming GPU and that flows through the entire product stack, even if a product like the 3060 is actually worse value than the RX 6600 XT or yeah, whatever the competitor fair. product is. So I think they need to do both of those things. And on top of that, and this is where it's going to be very difficult for them, is that even if they didn't have the fastest GPU and had better price to performance at most areas, mm -hmm. people would still buy NVIDIA GPUs for their features. Mm -hmm. So they need to beat NVIDIA GPUs on features too. And then do that for multiple generations. And that's where they'll get back. Yep. Because it's, it's not as easy as it is for them with CPUs. CPUs are very singular focused devices. They Having, do one thing. They yeah, can, they compute the things. The only angle that we're missing in this potentially is the tie in with CPUs. So stuff like SAM. Yeah, but is SAM really selling anyone on anything? Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying if that progresses <laughs> as the generations Possibly. go on, and it certainly that's helps. an opportunity for them. Yeah, it certainly if, yeah. if all gamers are jumping towards Zen Four. Let's say Zen Four is another, you know. Well, it's a, it's another significant step on the 5800X 3D. Like, yeah, it's, it's a successful generation. It's a successful yeah. generation that's quite clearly the better gaming CPU. I think that will also help sell Radeon GPUs. Provide, I think because so. Because I think if they... Well, let's be honest. If the, if the 5700 XT... If they had, for that generation, the original RDNA generation, they had an RTX 2080 Ti competitor, they would have sold significantly more GPUs. I think so. And that would have helped strengthen the brand for the next generation. But I think it's 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 all the all of these factors that we've been talking about yeah, yeah. all combine need to combine for them. And yep. like I said, I think with CPUs it's so much easier to gain those sorts of market share because the device only does one thing. Well, which is processing things. Whereas with a GPU, you're not just buying its rasterization performance, you're buying how does it go with ray tracing? How does it go with features? How does it go with encoding? Mm -hmm. you know, it's a really multi purpose device. And of course, yes, you people go to the comments and say CPUs also can do all sorts of other things. But I think you get what I'm saying, right? Like mm -hmm. GPUs today have become a battle of features and performance. Mm -hmm. And AMD has, for this generation of RDNA 2, they've been able to produce a really fast GPU that's you know competitive. They've got some good price to performance wins in certain categories. Mm -hmm. They're not winning on features, certainly not winning on features. Well, and they're not, they don't have the outright fastest GPU. So there, yeah, there's but, a few things they need to do there. And then again, do that for year after year after year. Yeah, I and mean, Nvidia won't let them, Nvidia won't give them what Intel's given them. No. And another part that we may have glossed over is that availability plays a big part in yeah, it. Yeah, they need to spam them out. So they need, they, it takes more than just having the fastest, best card for the next few generations. They also have to have the best availability. The supply chain, shipping yeah, them out. If they had have had significantly better availability for this past generation, so say they had access to many more seven nanometer wafers, they would have carved significantly greater inroads into that uh, market share than they were able to. Yep. And so. 
marketing as well because they not only do they need everything that we've just been talking about and keep adding stuff to, they then need to be able to mar actually put money into marketing the cards because again, NVIDIA's GeForce brand, NVIDIA puts a lot of time and effort into marketing yeah, and marketing yeah. their, their things. Yeah. And again, it's like- it, They are the brand of the influencer. Yeah. Like I said, they're not, NVIDIA will not give them an Intel opportunity. No. They are not the sort of company that does that. No. And historically they haven't. So it's just, yeah, it's going to be very tough for them. And I think based on this discussion where we've sort of come up with point after point after point where they have to execute, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see what the execution's like. Mm-hmm.